You were concerned that your own masturbation was causing your mother's mental illness? Is this actually going out over the air? Yeah, yeah. Everybody has a story. I'm not here to judge. Have you ever been told that you're, you're part of a cult? <laughs> yep. How much hearing were you born with? Zero. How much of this campaign is about keeping your plight in the public eye to embarrass the Australian government? There's a personal element to it. You said you felt a lot of pressure. I'm wondering, what did you mean by that? I was always working, even since I was eight years old, I was working, so there's, I just had a different viewpoint of life. I realize that now. You know, as a kid, we, I never really went to the same school more than a year and a half. I was a complete drug addict. What's your definition of a drug addict? Pretty much every drug apart from heroin. Indigenous Australians have been doing science for longer than anybody. We make instrumentations here to assist in space exploration. What does what? Part of a satellite. Cool. Yup. Is it true that in the early days in high school, you and Ben Affleck had a joint bank account and you used to have business lunches at we high did. school? We did. We had business lunches. What did you discuss in a business we lunch? We would sit there and chew our cheeseburgers and go like, no, not a lot to talk about. <laughs> the closest call with immigration. We saw them coming. There, there was actually seven of them. Two of them downstairs, a couple of us around the house. You're gonna go inside a prison. We're dealing with the lost generation of young Aboriginal men and women. I wasn't the best father. There's a pretty good chance that this will end up being put in front of your kids at some point. How would you like them to think of you? I don't think that I, that I love them, you know? I think about it every day. Three years ago, my son was struck by a car. What did that do to you to see your son in that state? It touched a place that had become raw. The producer then asked me to take my jacket off and turn around so they could see my body. Uh, and I was, you know, I was like 14, kind of like chubby with pimples or whatever. And uh, yeah, my agent went to his office and punched him in the face. <laughs> The K-pop industry is actually very hard to make money when you're first starting off. In the end, you're just left with nothing. I may have said something that could get me in trouble, but it's okay. I totally get Americans now. <laughs> People here, they are angry. The government doesn't care about us. They are afraid. But they're also intensely proud. This is my home. You considered becoming a stripper. So I'm very disappointed in myself. So are we. Then you didn't pursue it. Use plenty of lube. It's not like I'm a 20 year old, you know, nubile porn star. Great memories. <laughs> yeah, having an anxiety attack in public is something that nobody should ever want to have. And I literally wanted to kill myself over that episode. Well, I'm going a bit deep there, but it's all this to you. I love it when you go deep. <laughs> That's what it's about, is like humanizing things. It taught me that I was frail, and it also taught me that I was incredibly strong.